Hey everyone, good evening. We're going to attempt to redeem myself here. Uh, my last game, I attempted a tech victory with the Aztecs, and it didn't go so well. Uh, I made a lot of crucial mistakes, but you know, it's a good thing, even though you mess up and... You know, things didn't go your way. A lot of the times it makes you realize, and you really sit down and really reflect and think about it. You're like, well, you know what? Maybe I need to rethink my strategy play a little more aggressively and uh, just it helps you uh, just kind of you learn more from your losses than you do from your victories so what I'm gonna do here is uh, fire up another game of the Aztecs and uh, I'm gonna redeem myself tonight so strap yourselves in now hopefully uh, let's Now the world record's 1,200, so I'm going to try to get below that. I would be happy if I was at least close to that. That would be a, better than what I did last time. Last time I got a 12, no, it was like 1830 AD. So that's a far cry from 1200 AD. So let's see if we can fix that. Hey, Mystery Revenge, what's going on, man? A little surprise broadcast for you. I just simply have to redeem myself, man. That was that was no good. Cause I know the Aztecs are better than that. Well, this is interesting. I kind of like when I start in these corners like this. At least you know for sure you only really have one choice in terms of which way you're going to explore. Nice, found a barb hut. Maybe I can grab that. Try for horseback. Yep, sure enough. Aztecs make it look pretty easy, so. Now the only question is do I go up or down? We're gonna go up. Lots of huts. Oh, hello there, Americans. They're dropping in on us. Now, where could they be coming from? Maybe I should just continue north here. We're bound to run into somebody. Oh, hey, man, that first attempt was pretty awful. I don't think I'll ever live that down. <laughs> man, where are these guys? Holy cow. Look how far I've run. Woo! This looks like a dead end right here, so. Since. Man, where are these guys? There they are. Oh, that's cool, man. Whoa. The American... Is this... The Americans are expanding? Dude, we just started. Wow. Honestly, ran a little bit too long here, so may may call for a restart here. But we'll see what happens. If I totally look out, maybe it's worth keeping this, but it's probably not worth keeping this. Yeah. Yeah, that start's not going to work. 
So let's restart. You can't really get caught running around for that long. So we're going to need a good start if we want a world record. So. May have worked out if I went right instead of left, but. We'll try that again. Hopefully I don't run around for 10 turns looking for an enemy. If I find someone, it should work out. Because the Aztecs are probably the easiest to get started. But really my plan is to find an opponent. And the Aztecs start with 25 gold, so it's really easy to pop out a warrior. And what I've been uh, focusing on is actually doing a walk-in on the capital. So if we can get a walk-in, that would be excellent. Where are we? Uh, let's see. Let's go this way. Hello. There's someone right over there. See that? I saw Romans down here. On this second turn, it's a little cheaty, but you can pretty much move this around. And usually find somebody. Key is to find someone. Let's actually go back this way. Go down here and see what happens. Looks like the Romans are right here. What's really nice is if you can get. <laughs> Yeah, so you see right now their capital's empty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this way. And run right here. And plant. Got us a nice little militia unit too. So that's cool. I only have one trade on this spot right here, so that's a little bit yucky, but... We'll see what we can do. I think I planted right on a named natural wonder, so that's cool. Yeah, man, let's have peace. Let's have peace. So as you can see, I actually did this correctly. The key to getting this walk in, and I'm planning to do a separate video on this. If you approach the computer around 3400 BC and plant the way that I did, you can pretty much pop out a warrior and just walk into their capital like this, and I'm going to get Code of Laws for free. So I got Code of Laws and a capital, so that's really juicy. And that's pretty much how you want to start one of these games. Yeah, Aztecs are beautiful.
They're wonderful. They're good guys. Good guys. We gotta get rid of this barb hut that's right next to us. Sooner rather than later. Obviously barbs, those little barb huts are pretty important. I'm gonna get a little villager over here so that'll help me out. Yeah, the heal up bonus is beautiful. It's, it just helps you keep your momentum going so easily. Uh, if I could get horseback riding from this hut, I will be very happy. Nope. Not this time. Oh no. Huh. How was that guy injured? Now, let's see. How many dudes do I have here? One, two, three. So let's get one more out. And I'll keep him going to the south here. Doesn't look... Oh, actually. Gonna have to spread out here. <laughs> Plus one warrior movement. Yeah, then they would be so broken. It's already broken. Zulu are completely broken. Now, I think I could have planted right here. That would have been a little bit better. Oh, well. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Keep moving here. All right, take this guy out. Beautiful. Looks like we found the English. Yep. And the important thing here is just watching their tech count. If they're at one, we're in good shape. If they're at two, we're in bad shape because they probably have archers at that point. Let's see what happens here. I'll be a little upset if this gives me bar uh, horseback riding. All right. Yeah, they're researching. Now let's move this back over to hammers. We really only need two more science there to get this back. Uh, let's see. I'm wondering if I can declare war, if that'll get them off of the science. I don't really want them on science right now. Okay, 
Let's see if I can sell them something. Code of Laws? Oh. I think it's worth it. Ooh, getting a lot of gold, so that's a good thing. Uh, need horsies. I'm going to experiment here, see if I can... I need to get her off of the water here. That's a big problem. I don't even care if he kills this guy over here. That guy's not really worth to anything to me. Yeah. Looks like she moved back over. So that could be a really good thing. Now, he doesn't really have time and energy to mess with that militia guy. So I'm hoping I can kind of... Just get in this guy's way. No, 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 no. We'll fight to the end. This guy's a little bit far. That's kind of messing me up. Let's get some horsies. Kind of nice because we got our settler pretty early. So that's nice. Uh, where can we put this? Trees, trees. Man, not a lot of good tree spots. Where my trees at, yo? Uh, I don't want to run so far. I mean, here wouldn't be too bad. But that's uh, kind of far. In these early turns, you want to get going pretty quick. So maybe I'll just have to deal with no no trees for me. Wait, what resource is this? Iron? Anyone else? Anyone else? This seems good, honestly. I can get there in... Not too many turns, so... I think we got a good shot at taking London as well. That's a victory right there. this horse while I can. Let's see, where are these warriors? One's here. Where's the other one? One here, uh, one's way back here. Here's this other one. I need to get this guy into the game here. 
And this guy can go explore. And gonna go for at least two horse armies here, so this should be good. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and sit on these trees. Go for it. See if we can be tricky here. Uh, see, she just got her third tech, so she's probably researching. I imagine she must have got bronze working. Yeah, so if this doesn't take, take him out, that's it. So if this doesn't start well, then I'm done. I'm done. I'll have to. That was a very good thing. Little bit lucky there. So that was a pretty good break right there. No more complaining. Right now I'm sitting on both of his trees, so he's uh gonna have a hard time producing enough units. And I'll be producing my last horse next turn right there. So let's go ahead and proceed to the next turn. know for sure there's a good little hut right there so I'm gonna go get that this looks good March okay Um, this could pay off. Nope. Not that way, it's not. Let's get writing. So let's see what happens here. This is good. Really wish I got Blitz. That would have been the ideal right there. There we go. We got Marnarchy. And March. So we got two capitals here. That's really a nice start. So hey, we got a chance here. Let's see if we can uh, create some interference. Cause a lot of problems for the AI. With these horse armies. And with these warriors, what we're going to do is just try to block things off. Let's 
and spread these guys out. Try to get him to veteran status. All right. Just a little bit more. We're in a great position right now, honestly. We've got a warrior army. Uh, we got a little ranger running around, a little militia, and two horse armies and four cities. So this is the kind of start you really want to have if you want to have a big, you know, have a chance of setting a world record time, you know, get having or even having a competitive time. Question is, what am I going to do with this little militia guy? I'll run him up here, I suppose. Let him get in the action. Nothing to do with that right now, so I'm going to bank those hammers. Nice. That'll help me uh, explore, and you get... I mean, Caravan's just one of the best rewards for sure. Oh. Who are you? Nice. Getting close to five technologies, so I might start thinking about what I'm going to do. If I should build something. Well, I only got 11 gold, so probably not a lot of choices anyhow. Honestly, I think I'm just going to form these guys up. It's probably way too annoying. To march around all these warriors. So just army up here. Actually pretty handy that these guys have march. I think once I get five techs. I might as well swap over to Republic and consider my expansion strategy. Actually, I don't know. I might take that back. I feel like it's too important. To get literacy before you really start expanding because once you start expanding it really hamstrings your ability to uh, pump out the science in the same at the same speed and then sometimes you end up losing literacy as a result so hello yeah the Chinese so no free yeah I'm gonna have to get ooh they're at two texts so this is actually really super important that I get literacy before they get five technologies whoa lots of huts around here now since I have so much overflow here I'm gonna go at least try to bank some of these hammers Damn, we have so much. Whoa, wow. I forgot because I got monarchy there. Well, that'll at least minimize my overflow a little bit and help me bank some hammers. So that'll be a little bit better. A little overflow is okay. No free spy. I think, I think we're going for literacy.
Let's take care of our units and then we'll manage our cities. Give me a boat. Oh, I want a boat. Three artifacts on the map. Hope one of them, the seven cities of gold. Ooh, this is an interesting little. It's over here. There's gotta be a name tile around here somewhere. Keep looking for that. Manage the cities. Let's see. Put this back. Everything what it's supposed to be doing. Yep. Alright. Wonderful. So they're at two techs, so that means they have writing and probably archers. They seem to go right for archers pretty quick on deity. In fact, we can try to find out. I have knowledge for sale. I have no money. Yeah, so they got bronze working. You can easily find out by checking in here. <sighs> this guy's got no money. Got archers, though. I'll tell you that. And I got 19 per turn. I wish I could get that one higher. What a bummer. Can I get that one higher? I don't think so. That's all I got. Who's that? Japanese? Looks like the Japanese. Alright. Yep. Caravan are considered a uh, neutral unit, so they actually won't take that. At least the A, in, in, at least from the AI's perspective, they won't. Nice, sort of. I don't really need more of those, but okay. On our way to literacy, I think we're going to get it, so that's a good thing for sure. This March night is just going to take out everything so fast, plus the over the overrun, it's just steamrolling everything. With all these uh, horse armies running around, it's going to be really easy to keep my keep track of the enemy just if they try expanding it's gonna be really easy to hop it hop on them knock and just take out intercept anything they try to do If 
I can find another barbarian hut, I may end up with three horse armies running around. Which is kind of cool. I feel like it's a little bit... Oh, man. I wish I could block this guy somehow. I would love to pick that up. Alrighty. These guys are running around taking down barbarians with legions. Alright, got it first. That is a really good thing. Alright, 1700 BC. Could go for currency, I suppose. Change over to Republic, gonna lose our production for the turn, but at least we got it for free. Can't even walk to their city and give them money. So many of them in the way. Guess the question is who needs more attention? Go ahead and army these guys up. Switch over to Republic. Time to expand. And let's see. Let's take care of this caravan first. Actually, I'm going to use that for exploring purposes since he can run through there. I'm going to run them around the other side of that city and just see if there's like a bar, like a nice hut over there or anything like that. Ooh, fishies. Just stand right here on this hill. Keep my eye on them. All right. <laughs> All right, what's over here? Nothing? Oh. Man, I cannot believe I didn't get a single boat. That's a little bit of a bummer. I mean, that means I'm going to have to build one. And this is looking like the best spot, maybe? So that'd be two to one. There's no reason to take that. Yeah. 
is a really nice position right here, so might as well take advantage of it. Hill's always nice to be on. So I am going to need gold. I need some gold. Reason being, I'm going to have to start rushing. Some guys out here. Yeah, they're pretty similar. I find the Chinese to be more annoying just because they kind of force you to go get literacy pretty quickly. Pretty nice territory over here. I have to get a boat too, at some point. There's uh, could be seven cities of gold or something like that, just waiting to be grabbed. And I don't want to miss out on that. I have really no reason to be at war with these guys. Maybe they'll accept peace next turn. I was just kidding around, guys. I didn't really want to go to war with you. But I will take the opportunity to kill your units. More units I can wipe out, the better. Give me pottery or else. Hey, he's gonna give me 25 gold. So I can threaten him in this situation, get free money. Get some free money out of it at least, because I, I really don't have any plans to take the capital right now. So I can guarantee peace for 10 turns. And, uh... Get some money out of it. I think it's a pretty good bargain. Just pretend I want to kill him. I don't, man. I'm peaceful. I'm a man of peace. Take advantage of these trees if you can. Trees are always better than gold when, when you're trying to expand. Um, here? Here looks good. Let's see if we can threaten these guys. Hey, 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 get back there. Alright, should be able to rush a boat now. The question is, what's the best location? Is it up here? Is it... kind of feel like it's right here to be honest just something here and something over here you never really know though to be honest wish you wish there was a way to know there's no really magic way to know
Give me bronze working or else. Do I want bronze working? Oh, give me fish. Honestly, I might see if I can take the bronze working. You're not going to give it to me, man? Come on. Two times. Nope. He doesn't think I'm very funny. I, I thought it was funny. All right, need some more settlers, guys. Switch this guy over. Dude, what? They're going crazy with technology right now. See if I can use this one down here. It's always nice when you can use a double tree city. Leave him there. Chinese do not like being threatened, that's for sure. All right, all right. Let's make peace. Obviously not getting anything out of you, China. Do we have any trees around this place? For heaven's sake. It's a shame you didn't give me bronze working. It would be really nice if I got that. That's what I really wanted out of him. I uh, need more gold. Gold, gold, gold. Gold makes the world go around at this stage of the game. What are you guys doing? Exploring? Go explore. See a builder. I see a builder. Oh my goodness. Russia spy immediately. Rush that as fast as I can. I hope Japan's getting all those garbage technologies that I don't want to research so that I can go ahead and just backfill them. That would be nice. But yeah, obviously a builder would be great to steal that. And hopefully they don't have a spy. If they do, protecting their city, that's no good. Come on, give me a tile, man. All right, we're getting a spy out at least.
I think it'd be better off if we just pulled those in for hammers. That'd be more effective. Probably should have blocked that path so they're so they're not running all over the place, but a little too late for that. Let's see here. Just keep a tab on these fools. thing is double tapping on me. Keep popping out cities, looking pretty good. Uh, don't have enough gold right now. Nope. Not quite yet. Let's see how many turns of peace we actually have left. <laughs> Hey, genocide. Yeah, no, I know. I always forget pottery. Pottery. Ceremonial burial. Was that what it was? Nothing. All right. Beautiful. Uh, let's run you. Let's see. What is this? Aluminum. That's no good. Let's see, is there any potential for production city around here? That would be okay. There's no can no oak trees. It's a big desert right here. It's not gonna really help me. Could plant one right there, but really I should take advantage of this coastline more first. This guy's getting close. Oh, scientist. What are you doing? Please don't have a spy. Please don't have a spy. All right, perfect.
Guess I should play stupid here for a little bit. Oh! <laughs> yeah, man. You can trust us. Let it be peace. Everything's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Dude, what is this guy doing? That's not cool. That guy's being sneaky. He ran back the other way. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. No one's gonna. No one's gonna hurt him. Wow, this map is amazing. I mean, this t this uh, location right here. Holy cow. Look at that. Double die. I should have gotten the scientist, huh? Nah, I think you're wrong, man. I think I did the right thing. We need more settlers, more settlers. Yes. Pump them out. Pump them out. See, so he went there. This guy's going over here. Hey, Laxmaster56, what's going on? How are you doing? Damn, this guy still can't... Ru I need money. Give me some I'm getting currency, so that'll help. I'm also getting a free Chinese city, and that'll help too. In fact, probably going to bring this guy over to help out. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Are you serious? Calix Salwaka. Alrighty, let's see here. Man, I need pottery. Uh, democracy would be awesome. But, I don't know. Let me think about that. Dude, I know. I'm hoping someone else will research pottery for me. Then I can just backfill it. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. For a moment, I thought they actually put my market over here. Kyoto, 100 gold. Holy cow. Get over there. Uh...
Guys are making it a little too easy. Giving me free cities. I have to chill right here, though. All right, they're mad. They're mad. I knew it. Knew it was that tile. Man, this is a big, juicy island over here. All kinds of crap on it. Huh. Where'd I get this market right here? Beautiful. Man, that's a lot of that's a lot of gold. That's gonna help. This guy can go over here. Alright. I think that's about all I can do right now. Come on guys. Peace. Peace. All right, I don't want these legions to surprise me, so I'll stand over here. China a little upset. They're a little upset. So we'll have to be careful about that. Oh, nice. I didn't know that was there. Wow, this guy's not even a veteran yet? Yes! Now he's a veteran. When you capture these, you really want to get as far away as you can. You tend to get... If you run them far away enough, they might actually build another settler and run them out and give them to you. But this spot looks amazing, so I'm going right there. <laughs> they got literacy. They're gonna write all kinds of books about this. The time that the time that the Aztecs took my settler away. Never forget. Oh baby. Oh, oh, baby, look at it. So juicy. It's a big loot pinata. I can't wait to break it. All right, what kind of settler action we got over here? Settler, settler, settler. That guy could pop one out. This guy could pop one out. I think we kind of got to move this way. We've been. How much gold are we getting per turn? 39? Not enough. Just put this guy on gold and 
That'll be good. Let's see, I need to plan this out. One, two. Anything cool over here? No. Three, four. It would be nice to get that die first. Get over there. A little too juicy. Need to go get that. <laughs> yeah. It is OP. I'm about to get a great person too, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, let's see here. I think we're pretty... Come on. Let us make peace. Think I can get some gold out of this guy? Let's see if I can threaten this guy. He's so hard to threaten. Alright, I was just kidding. Whoa, that was weird. I will honor our agreement. I think that was a bug. I don't have an agreement with him. That was the old agreement. That's very strange. Okay. Yeah, if you can get two builders or two great scientists or something like that. It's amazing. There's no way I'm letting this guy run run wild around this map. Get out of here, man. You ain't running all over this map. Getting all kinds of intel. Let me think about it. <sighs> All right. Anyone going to discover religion? Woo! Like, I got a nice city down here. Unfortunately, it got a market, so it can't really be. Yeah, the city names repeat all the time. Unfortunately, they don't have uh, more than a certain amount, so it starts. It start, you get like, I think I've had like three called the same thing at one time. There's really not enough city names in their little array of city names for each civilization. I guess they never. You know, thought people would build 60 cities at, in a game, but people do that, so. Um, yeah, I don't really, it's, it's too late. Too late for Oracle. I mean, uh, Colossus, so. Man, this is like perfect, because I'm about to get a great person from culture, and then after that I'll hit the School of Confucius here. And you don't want to get, like if, I wouldn't want to get it this turn, that would be an absolute disaster, because I would lose that great person. So you want to hit your natural milestone, and then get this, because that would actually mess it up. Because my uh, culture culture doesn't overflow the way that it should because it's I don't know if that's bug or intentional but it just doesn't overflow properly and then you end up losing a milestone pretty dumpy go take advantage of this die over here uh, what else do we got over here guys all right, you're done.
All right, that should be good enough. Yeah, East, East Empire Company is amazing. So if I can get that, I'll be... Oh, did I... Ooh, I fail. Got to change this over. It is so wonderful that I don't have to worry about healing. Just keep whittling them down. Now what I'm hoping is that they don't have a spy in this Japanese city and then from that point what I could do is go ahead and rush navigation would probably be awesome. Uh, Alright, nothing too amazing, but that's not a waste either. At least it's not a great artist. Whoa, that sucks. Yeah, what a waste. Woohoo! Yeah! This is going to be a production city right here. That is not going to help my world record cause at all. Uh, I'm going to try to get a workshop for that guy. That would be good. All right. What do we got here? Anyone else? Anyone else want to expand? 32 gold, anyone? No? No takers, huh? About you. you want peace? Give me pottery! That's right. I don't need pottery. What are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. Felt. That was yucky. Would have been really nice if it was a scientist or a great builder. Something useful. Oh well. Um. A great scientist is just raking it, raking it in for the Japanese. They're actually beating me in tech, but I don't think that's going to last too long. Hey, stop yanking. Uh, 
Pulling in a good amount of gold, so that's pretty good. Good little spot right here. <laughs> no, I hate pottery. Uh, let's see here. All right, that'll work. I still don't have bronze working. Which is amazing to me. Man, there's an, another huge island over there. Oh, what's going on over there? I believe I have enough tech per turn at this point. I mean, gold per turn. Uh, let's see. Got some serious city growth on my way. Growing, growing, growing. He's still going to have to hang out. I don't want settlers here anymore. Change that over. <laughs> uh, Alright, that should do. I should do. This should be an okay spot. City needs hate to spend that much on it. But might have to. Oh I know. If I got the art I could potentially get that. Man, 
is taking forever for this spy to get over here, but not much I can do about that. Yay! 20 gold. Uh, anyone able to do something with that? You can kind of do something with that. Start switching these over to science a little bit. Yeah, I didn't realize I'd be streaming now either. But here I am. Thinking about making it a regular stream night. So I'm thinking about switching my schedule to Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 9. So this was an unscheduled broadcast. Probably why there's fewer folks around tonight. Yeah, it's hard to argue with the Aztecs. They're pretty darn good. No, I can't. I don't have a navigation quite yet, but yeah, that's definitely very high priority right now. Uh, I need a couple more beakers. A couple more. Oop. All right, that should get me there. Banking next turn. Let's go to the library. Uh, I think this is about as filled out as it's going to get. Maybe one there. That would be a little ridiculous. Probably a waste. 74 per turn and... And hopefully we get a scientist this turn. And we just got 100 gold, so that's good. Oh, we got pottery now, guys. We got pottery. Great news. Do you see this? Someone got irrigation, but not masonry. Does that mean that the Japanese jumped to get irrigation? That's so stupid. I've got pottery. It's game over now, boys.
How do you tech jump? Uh, depends what you mean by that, but... You can skip a tech. You, you can research a tech as long as you have... Uh, well, are you talking about backfill? Or are you talking about tech jumping? Which is actually two different things. Like, I didn't research pottery. But... The computer has pottery. So... Because someone finished pottery, and I'm getting more than 20 tech per turn, I backfilled it. So that's how that works. Dude, dude, dude. Holy cow. Here goes nothing. Yay! Probably going to switch most of these over to science. Not this guy, though. I'll leave him. Wondering how much science we're even getting at this time. Should be interesting to see. Hey, I got bronze working. I backfilled it. I'll settle those islands if I... If I can. All right, so we can get navigation in two turns. Not too shabby. Not too bad, not too bad. Anyone at war with me? Whoa, I'm way ahead now. I jumped from 11, 7 to 11, so I'm winning in tech now. And they're definitely going to be on the way down. Given that they just lost their great scientist. Uh, let's see here. Let's move this guy up here. Need to get to navigation immediately. It's going to be too important. Uh, two sieves are dead. So my expansion rate is going to suffer slightly here. 
just because it's more important to get these I need to get the East India Company up there like yesterday Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Computer's not mad at me, so this is good. Whoa! 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 Settler. Settler alert. Half price roads. Oh, man. Game over. So... Industrialization is awesome. So let's go ahead and get that. I need another great builder. I know that sounds a little bit greedy. But believe me, I really do need them. I would really need it. I promise. And I need this guy to save it for space flight. Dude, that's like way down the line. I can't wait that long. Let's get a settler on this boat. So we're at 120. Oh, yes. Yeah, boy. Hey, get back there. Not democracy yet, but I'm going there ne next. Alright, now we got plus five gold per turn. It is on like Donkey Tong Donkey Kong? Donkey Tongs. Oh man. All right, seriously. I may not be able to get that Japanese settler. It's too important to switch over. <laughs> uh, the Japanese are keenly aware that I am keeping a close eye on them. Yeah, here comes another one. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to.
Oh. Forgot about these guys. Nope. Let's see here. Didn't get a free workshop. That's a little depressing. Oh man, that's a lot of free population I'm about to get. Can I really build another one? How many cities do I have? 29? Not bad. Not too bad. Uh... <laughs> It'd be funny, funny to run out in front of this guy. Plant in a better spot. Hey guy, what's going on? Nice little city you're looking at. Uh, yeah, this is a nice spot. I'm gonna have to take this. Sorry, buddy. Uh. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Ha! <laughs> yeah. All right, let's power up. Man, that is a lot of city management that I'm going to have to do. <laughs> Sorry guys, you're gonna have to, here we go. It's gonna be some crazy Can't even imagine how much There's gonna be so much tech. It's crazy. Yeah, the city management leaves a lot to be desired here. Oh yeah, it definitely makes a big difference, especially in the first turns when you have to build a bunch of warriors. You don't want to be balanced at that time. Definitely not.
Some of these cities are some of these cities are pretty booty. No good. Sometimes wonder about that. Man, that city is awful. And that's my capital. Uh, wow. Everyone happy? Nope. It's gonna be four hundred twenty-five. Whew. That's a lot of tech. Damn. Oh, the Chinese picked up masonry. Let's see what this... If I can run faster than this settler, they'll never be able to make a city. I'll just keep running to wherever he, go, wherever he goes. He'll just settle nowhere. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, I need... University. University, please. Oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have researched that. Time to set a hundred cities to library. Library, you make a bank. I just wonder if I should rush that. It's kind of pays for itself, really. It's not really necessary, though. Going for a tech victory here. Don't need a bank. And I'm not really short on money either with all these cities and my plus five bonus to gold. So we'll just focus on this. Yep, sure does. I don't want that one quite yet. Kind of hoping I might have to do that though. Man, this island is amazing. Yeah, I was thinking about getting Oxford Bombers, but I don't really have the production, and I don't have a builder, so I don't know what to do. Might just have to research it. I can't really sit around forever waiting for it.
Oh. That's a shame. <laughs> yeah, if I could get Ark of the Covenant right now, that would be amazing. It might be out there. I haven't found everything yet, so. We'll see. See what happens. What's. Let's see, what haven't I found yet? Some stuff way up there, some stuff down here. Ah! <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, man. I LMAO. <laughs> yeah. Let's That's going to be a lot of science, boys. A lot of science. Am I all done? I think I'm all done. Yeah, that bot is a little bit, uh, that, that bot's a little bit, like, too sensitive. I'm gonna see if I can configure that thing. It's a little, like, I mean, obviously, it's like censoring everything. Well, boys, I think it's time to get us an Ark of the Covenant. Yep. It's time, it's time. I don't want to eat that tree up, though. So I'm going to go over here. Damn! 589! Woo! Holy cow, I don't even have any libraries yet. Damn, 589 per turn is crazy. I was wondering what that third artifact was. I was wondering. Holy cow. That is nuts. This poor Japanese settler, man, he has no idea what to do. He's like, I don't know, man. This dude keeps settling everywhere I go. What's up with that? <laughs> Gonna build no oh, I can't rush another one. Oh well. That's too bad. Let's get university. Yeah, I think tech's gonna be pretty good here I mean our culture and our tech and our look at whew, plus one science again oh my good oh my goodness whew. Oh, we got a great person. Hey, f from the gold, 500 gold. If that's a great builder, forget it, man. Nah, I want invention. I want another great person, man. If I can get... Yeah. 
That will be really juicy. I'm telling you, if I can get a great builder, ugh, that's going to be so awesome. This is going to be a nice time if I can get a great builder. So I need the random number generator to hook me up. Library, 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 library. Get these dudes loaded up, rolling out. Uh, any die? Some die up there. Kind of curious what's down here, though. Looks like some more good stuff. This is nice right here. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people play multiplayer. This is going to be pretty hilarious right here. Just set, plant another city right in his face. <laughs> uh, just to be a jerk. Hey man, sorry. Uh, let's see here. Whoa! 666 six, six per turn. Uh-oh. That's not good. Uh, this guy even have... That's a dumpy. All these little landlocked cities. Change the democracy. I already changed, man. I already done changed. Yeah, I'm, I'm already a uh, democracy. Uh, let's see here. Make sure everyone's on library. You guys on library? Everybody? No, no. What you really want to do is you want to try to rush libraries wherever... You have really good science going on. But you also want to keep expanding, so... Just kind of got to balance that out. Though I'm really already getting some pretty amazing science per turn, so... Uh, 
this one's pretty good. What is my best science city? What am I looking at here? I got a 30. 36 cities. Looks like that 30 is my best one. Go, 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 go. Up, 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 up. Uh, so this is my best one right here. So if I rush here, bring that up to 57. And set this to market. All right, 720 per turn. That's amazing. Corporation in one turn. Okay. Doesn't look like they're gonna give me the great builder I want, so whatever. Up. Wow, Karl Marx. That is not what I wanted. Are you serious? Yeah, I gotta fix that bot. He's like going berserk over stupid things. Those are the default settings, so I so whatever it's doing. Oh, the poor Japanese. I'm about to flip his cities, too. Oh, up, 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 up. What? Are you serious? The one city he builds. You know, it's pretty annoying that it's, like, way over there. I'm going to have to run that dude all the way up. Yeah, seriously. Damn you, Karl Marx. Oh, this guy is so far from everything. He's going to have to... Yeah, yeah I want to run him up here to be extra annoying and blast this guy with... Uh... <laughs> Or I could just take the city now. I mean, what? I guess it's the same thing. It's more instant. Whatever. Sure. Whatever. Nice city here. I like it. Uh, it's more of a market city here. <laughs> Uh, what turn are we on here? 400? I think we're doing alright. What's over here? I was kind of hoping I could find some, uh... Some villager huts. Sometimes you can get space flight from a villager hut, which is always pretty funny. See, what's this island offering me here? Let's get him back on the boat. Uh, 
I really don't want to get Corporation next turn. I know that might sound stupid. But I'm kind of gambling on getting a builder. Religion would be pretty stupid. It's kind of a gamble. The hope is my great guy, my great person from invention will give me a builder. Because then I can get, oh boy, gotta gamble man, sometimes. Oh well. Religion, we got a cathedral. Plus culture. Wasted time, but okay. Thomas Edison. Actually, that's okay. That's a good one. We can actually use that. We can actually use this guy. Oh, advanced flight. Yes. Just as good, quite honestly. We done got us a bomber. <laughs> uh. Damn, my culture is blowing this dude up. This guy can't even build anything. Um... <laughs> Man, my bot hates you. Hey, Demetrium, can you manage that bot? It's like censoring way too much crap. Nightbot is a maniac. Uh, what's down here? We s oh, I see some, I see some die. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. <sighs> oh, that's not what I meant. Oh, I done messed up. Look what I done. That's not good. Dang it. If it's got four or more, I'm going to go ahead and rush a library. Eh. Eh. No. Nope. 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 Damn, that's a nice one. 
There we go. Nice. Um, let's see, three, maybe. Going to have to go to cities with three tiles next. What's this guy got? That's good. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> All right, I'll have to fix that bot later. That's annoying. Capital letters. Oh, I can't deal with it. And this is some insane science per turn. Start giving it to market, market, market. Give it to a three. All right, that's pretty good. We're up to a thousand sixty five per turn. In 450 AD, so that's pretty good. About to get a ton more gold, too. Whoa, and the 50% gold bonus, so. This will be pretty good. No problems researching stuff here. I definitely think we have a shot. So the goal is to hit 1200. We're definitely going to hit that, so. Uh, it's just a matter of how much sooner we're going to make it. I believe I can jump all of this stuff. I can just go straight to electronics. Yeah, nice. Three turns. Very nice. <laughs> Is my bot triggering you guys? Yeah, networking. Eh. At this point, though, I don't really need the tech. I feel like that 50% cheaper universities thing comes, like, so late. It's, like, not even worth it at that point. guys are crazy man uh, where's the next city going
right here. There we go. Let's see, what can we rush here? Any three? Here's one. Could almost get this down to two per turn. Uh, I need. Nope. Nope. No oh, man, just not close enough. No. Wow. Uh, let's see. Any three population ones that need it? Yeah, this one does, but I don't have enough money. Ugh, that was nasty. Oh man, that's a good one. I may be able to get this down to two turns, possibly. Ugh, that one's nasty. Uh, let's see. This one's decent. But not that great. It's gonna have to cut it, I suppose. Getting close. Might be able to get it down next turn with whatever gold we get. Yeah, I'm, well, yeah, I'm gonna build a spaceship. Yep, that's a going for a tech victory here. So. Put one right here, and then put one right here. There we go. Nice. That's a lot. Oh boy. So close, but not quite. Damn. Almost wondering if I should just turn this over. Just for this turn. That'll get me there. Look at that. Sweet. Okay. So we're researching space flight now. Uh, they go down to 25 years at 1,000.
I'm going to have to start. Uh, let's see, where do I have the most production? Here. Forty five cities. It's probably easiest just to store. I'm going to have to store this up in the cities where I actually have some production. I just need uh, a few cities where I can get build some spaceship stuff. Three. Just need six of these things. What is this thing doing? Um, what's it go? Fifty eight. I think it's 12. Man, my production is so terrible because I don't have a uh, railroad. But I skipped that whole part of the tech tree, so... Make sure these guys are set up for production. Ugh, it's terrible. That's all right. What about this guy? Gonna need every bit of production I can get for these ship parts. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, you gotta launch the spaceship, man. Takes forever. What is wrong with this game? I can't even build a ship right here. You see this? Whatever. I 
I can't build a galleon. Doesn't make any sense. This game is so buggy. What in the world? Three, four, five, six. All right, should be good. It's about as good as it's gonna get. Man, space tech takes so long. I wish I could just find a villager hut so I can figure out how to make spaceships. But I can't even build a boat over here. <clears throat> if that makes any sense. Ugh, Wilbur Wright. Oh, this could have been so much faster if this was not Wilbur Wright. Uh, stupid gold guys. Oh, great. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Can a bomber pick up a villager hut? Does anyone know? It can take out a barb hut, right? go through uh, 45 cities real quick. Might speed up a turn of... Speed this up a little bit. Uh, let's see... If I'm lucky, I could get a great person from one of these gold milestones. That's another possibility here. Keep micromanaging these stupid tiles. These can definitely do benefit from a little management here. Ew, gross. Not bad. All right. 
Oh, if fighters can, then bombers definitely can. So that'll be interesting. I'm gonna if that's true, then I'm gonna try to rush one. I'm thinking there could be a villager hut over there. Damn, 1654. All right. Next turn. Nope. Maybe over here. Oh, no. <laughs> awesome. Damn, where are the villager huts, man? Oh, well. Made me research it. That's terrible. Wow, aqueducts. Oops. <laughs> I'm not giving him a tech. Come on. This is I'm not giving in to that guy. Mm, let's see here. Rushing with the Aztec is expensive. Because of that 50% gold bonus, it actually makes you spend more to rush things, which is kind of annoying for tech victories. Well, let's do... One fuel. What else? Build a habitation. Life support. Still, yeah. Uh, I think it's fifty percent more rush cost as well. I don't, I don't know if that's a bug or what. I think it is. Anyone that gets fifty percent gold bonus, they make you. <laughs> the rushing gets fifty percent more expensive too. So it's kind of like, I guess it gears you up for a gold economic victory, but 
It seems very strange to penalize you for it. It's looking like a good time. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? We won't know until the next turn. We'll find out the exact year. <laughs> yes, it does. Printing press, man. Hundred seventy five years. to rush two more propulsion units and I think that should make it a little faster the whole world was re oh <laughs> we never even got this not that we really needed it but And one more. Who's got a lot of production? You do. Alright. Does building those two make it better? I hope so. Any of this stuff any good? Nope. So let's see what happens here. Was it worth the extra turn? I think it was. That brought it down 50 years already. This brings it down another year. Another tick. So 100 years from now. Is that a 1025? I think so. Not bad considering I was getting screwed over left and right. Well, I won't say that. But let's just say I definitely could have got a few more breaks. I mean, great artists. Come on. That's not going to help me out. See what happens here. I think I got this. That's a great general. Oh, you punk.
Yeah, so it looks like it's a 1050 AD victory. No, this will be the last game for tonight. Just one game tonight. Oh no! You know, it's funny, even if they kept that city... They couldn't really... It would get flipped immediately. Wow, Sophocles. I can flip that city right back. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa, dude. I don't think I've ever gotten Atlantis with a bomber before, so that's a little different. Cruiser? Wow. Amazing. Railroad. Such a cool technology. Did I miss any cool huts anywhere? I don't think so. What other cool technologies can we get? Combustion. Couple more turns. We totally got this. The Japanese tried. They tried. <laughs> How many cities do we have? 45? Not bad. Boom! Woo! Oh man, that was a good game. And that was all possible thanks to winning a 6-6 six to six horse battle at the very beginning of the game. If you were here for at the beginning of the game, I had to, I had to win 6 versus 6 against some English archers in order to take their capital. I was pretty much going to reset if that didn't, didn't work out, but... You know, you gotta have a good start in order to have a good ending like this one. <laughs> Thanks, Genocide. Uh, so that's the fastest time ever on video for a tech victory. So, pretty happy about that. And I expect uh, expect more videos along along these lines, but I'm not. My last tech victory with the Aztec was like 1830 so obviously that's a, going from 1830 down to 1050 is a huge improvement I was uh spending some time improving my technique a little bit and kind of testing things out and uh, I think it was just playing a little too passively against the computer yeah I mean that's the world record on video as far as free for all deity you can't get it any faster than that uh you're not going to find it anywhere on YouTube or anywhere like that. So, there's unofficial, un I'm sure there's unofficial times that have done it faster, but unofficial doesn't mean anything. <laughs> ah, I do need sleep. Hey, the good news is I am streaming three times a week now, so it's going to be, I changed it, not on Monday anymore, it's going to be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, always at 9 o'clock. So it'll be consistent and easy to keep track of. Tonight was an unscheduled broadcast, so a lot of people didn't know I was going to be doing this. 
Uh, it looks like we got decent viewership anyway, so that's cool. Uh, if you like what, you know, if you're interested in seeing more games like this, I'm going to mix it up, use different civilizations, and uh, see what I can get for a best time with different civs. I'm pretty sure the world record will be smashed by the Americans. I think they're the best in the game by far. At least for getting tech, culture, or economic victories. They're just so overpowered. And you'll see what I'm talking about when, when we do a <laughs> when we do an Americans game. If they have a good start, they could easily get into I'm thinking around 680, maybe 500. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that's why I'm doing these speed runs in order to see what's possible. And I want to get it on video so that other people can be inspired, try it out, and see if they can beat the time. So I just want to thank you guys for joining today. And don't forget to follow if you're not already. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Good night.